Hey guys, it's JMK9, and welcome back to more Super Mario 63. And, um, let's see, what do we got? We're in the Snowman's Land room, and I am showing off the star coins in the castle as part of this secrets video. Um, that is why my star coin count is off, because I just deleted the two star coins so that I could re-grab them here. So basically all you have to do is save this uh, toad that's in the snowman slam painting. Actually, you don't really have to save him, you can just walk out and just get your prize. But anyway, um, and the second in-castle star coin is going to be in the level designer room. And I'm not gonna make it. There we go. So you can triple jump up here and you'll end up in this stairway passageway thingy and uh, grab your star coin. And one last thing before we start off the video, which is the, oh, this is the wrong one. Uh, star coin prizes. This is the 16 star coin prize, which is kind of obvious, but I forgot to grab my uh, 48 star coin prize, which actually is right above the others shine 16 star coin prize which is down there which is kind of interesting and there it is all right so moving on to secrets I'll just show off what we're getting here there is nine uh, shines for secret courses which are classified in group A group B and group C Group A is in the main level, like the main room and in areas, rooms around it. Group B is stuff in the basement, and Group C is in the upper levels, where Tall Tall Mountain and Rainbow Ride are. And we're also going to be getting the five um, star coins from each of these levels. Not each of them has five, but there's five star coins spread around. In uh, each section, there's two coins, two star coins, um, for each three levels, except for the upper story, which only has one level with a star coin. But, speaking of the devil, this one has a star coin. And it's actually a silver star mission. How did I not kill that thing? Anyway, so this one's actually kind of simple. Uh, the only uh, gimmick about it is that there's giant waves that try to push you back and screw you up. They can actually pull you when you're outside of the wave, which is kind of weird. I think it's mostly because the like, box is just square. But anyway. Uh, let's see, so we got two already, one which was sort of obvious, and whee! Uh, three is right here, hover flood, and I said get the hover flood, sheesh. Okay, and then the last two are down here, which makes this an extremely easy silver star mission. And star coin, ooh, musket, 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 darn it. Uh, yeah, this is a winning star coin because of this stupid platform that doesn't let you get the star coin. It's possible, it's just irritating. I'm gonna kill myself. Coin, 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 coin. Okay, I'll get it in a bit. And then there's these platforms uh, trying to pull you out of this area. But it's not too much of an issue. Let's see if I can get, get this again. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Didn't work. It's possible, trust me. Interestingly enough, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Um, Silver Stars actually recover air for whatever reason. I will get this star coin. There we go. So, yeah, that can be actually really, really irritating. You're not careful. But fortunately, if you drown, Mamma Mia! Yes, he turns into Mario for whatever reason. 
um, yeah. it puts you right by the shine sprite, which is actually really useful. If you have lives to burn, just kill yourself. Okay, so the next one is also in the main room, but you probably... Actually, I found this by accident because I was trying to jump off this thing. There's actually a mushroom that's sort of faded and transparent uh, picture on here. If you jump into it, turns out it's a painting of a mushroom for Secret of the Mushroom. But yeah, this is uh, basically a... Um, one-up farming level. It's very nice. All these blocks have a ridiculous amount of coins. There's one up up here. And, um... There's also a ton of blue coins and, of course, a ton of one-ups. This block. We lag. Uh... If you got a slower computer, or really, if, if you normally run 20 frames per second, that's going to be so slow, because, oh man, I think 100 coins in that block. Did I read this? It's the secret of the mushroom. Can you find them all? Is it a Pokemon, Pokemon reference? Wow. So you get two choices here, hard path and easy path. The gradient in the background doesn't look very really smooth, does it? It does if you're playing it for reals. Okay, so grab your um, blue coin and blue coin. Now, um, if you take the hard path, it will actually reward you with a star coin. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And yeah, there's red bricks for the hard path, and green bricks for the easy path, which is kind of fun. I actually didn't notice that until Narfin pointed it out, and that's right. And hey, there's our start one, must be. Oh no! 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 Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. So, it's not actually too much harder than the easy path. So, you're probably like, if I jump down here, I'm gonna have to go back all the way up. Not true. You can actually spin these blocks like so, get the coins, and then use your hover flood to get the uh, one up without falling all the way through. Very useful. An interesting trick I learned from. Uh, Four times at Edge of Mushroom Kingdom, which I'll get into later. Anyway, uh, this is a ground pound uh, block, and you think, oh, well, there's probably coins in here, and I'm probably not going to be getting very many. Hold a directional arrow key in one dire in a s direction, and you'll get almost all, if not all, s uh, coins, and get the shine spread. Very nice. Okay, so next on our list is Jolly Roger Bay, which, um, if you were paying attention to what I was saying earlier, doesn't have a star coin. Uh, it's actually in this staircase room. Just walk in this passageway, just, uh, if you don't quite know where it is, you can just spin along the wall. This is one of the... Uh, more well hidden ones because there's no toad saying, Oh, I think there's a secret passageway in the staircase room. Anyway, what the heck line? Bubble? Circle? Oh my gosh! Yes, it's a death pit. Careful. Uh, actually, spinning is very useful. Okay, you want to press the switch. Switch! 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 Okay! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Jeez! But yeah, that is insta death down there. You don't want to go down there. 
Okay, so now you move on, and this is actually a red coin mission. And once again, no star coin. Um. Yeah, it's just red coins. In fact, I might just go ahead and speed this up. Yeah, you know what? I'll speed this up. That's what I'm going to do. That was actually pretty cool that I got the one up and the red coin at the same time. So, uh, real quick random fact about this level is that if you switch um, to low quality in the options menu, or on the right click menu, hey, my computer's fast. Uh, wait, wait, where is it? Oh, I guess you have to do it here. Wrong. So if you switch it to low quality, for whatever reason the background goes blank. Which, this doesn't do if it's switching to low quality because of auto quality. Mostly, I assume, just because the background would disappear. But then I don't get why it does it when you right click and go to low quality. Weird. Alright, so the next thing on our uh, agenda is in this, in the basement. Which actually I should probably show off. Oh, I'll show that off later. There's a couple of toads here that'll tell you not this one. Is it this one? There's a hidden door here somewhere, and uh, he, he can't find it, which is weird. And then there's a different toad, not this one, but there's a different toad that says there's a secret hallway in here. But the only problem is it's vertical. And since toads can't jump, um, they can't get up to it, which is actually right up in here. Um, and I, th I think I'll show that one off first. Yeah, sure, whatever. Doesn't matter. So yeah, this is the group B shines. Um, and this is Secret of the Sky. Welcome to the windswept grassy hills of Secret of the Sky. Eight red coins can be found along here and in the sky above. Be sure to find them all. Call today to reserve your room. Okay, anyway. Um, so this is a red coin. Maze thingy. It also has a star coin. And it's right there. But it's really irritating to try to get it. And it's the only actual possible way to get it is, of course, not like that. Not like that. Just, just land on. S well, I guess you could do it like that, apparently, since I can kill myself like that. Okay, sorry about the death there. Okay, you can get it like that. But what, you sh what if, if you can't get it, it's always best to ground pound. Is, is the guaranteed way to get it, but apparently it's also possible you could do it other ways. Um, since I just actually managed to kill myself as well. And uh, over here, there's nothing, as well as walking all the way to the other side. But if you do rock it up and use seagulls, you can actually get up there and there's a red coin that would be easy to get, which is possible but really irritating to do. So, third coin there, and there's a coin up there that I just managed to show up. Now, this one you can just walk, you can actually drop down from above, if you want to. It always works. Let's see, am I missing one over here? Yes, I am. There's also one right over here, which is our sixth. Let's see, man, I'm gonna see gold. Rocket, thank you Noble Seagulls for letting me sequence break like that, not much of a sequence break, and that's nothing up there, until we get our transfer, I'm not out of water, no I'm not, okay good, you can ru run out of water in this level, so 
so you have to be careful. But there's our last red coin and our shine sprite. Woohoo! Easy, 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 easy. Okay, so back here in the basement, uh, the hidden door that those toads are talking about is right here. It brings you to Frosty Flood. A slightly annoying level just because of the star point placement. And water is here. Anyway, you might notice that the water doesn't look quite the same as what it usually does. It actually doesn't have the texture that's usually there. Woo, to a row flood. Um, which I'll flash up in a quick video of what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's that's what I mean. This is just sort of a flat water that doesn't look quite like it's good. It looks like the level designer went water, actually. But anyway, moving upwards. Actually, no, that might be lag control. And it's intentional. Yeah, I bet it's lag control. And it's intentional. Because... This is actually all one trends. But yeah, because uh, this level is all one transition. There's no like, doesn't re-render anything. So probably if you if you left the originally it had the texture in there, and um, he ended up having to remove it because it was lagging like crazy. That's my guess. Okay, so here's where you start using your turbo flood. Now, there's a start going here, which you, you probably have a really rough time getting uh, just trying to use the turbo flood. What you're supposed to do is spin and grab it. Of course, Luigi decided not to grab it. There we go. Yeah, it's a nice And then you can just jump all the way back up here and fly over. Woo! Don't kill yourself, Luigi. How did I get that clean? Okay, so next we have Shifting Sand Light. No, uh, there's actually a secret passage here, which I'm pretty sure I showed off with this secret passageway of secret secrets secretly used to secretly travel from secretly secretly secretistical secretism whatever I don't even know but there's a hover flood up here and down below is a uh, bomb on battlefield just trust me I don't really want to go back in there and um if you haven't unlocked or haven't beaten Bowser the second time in Ancient Fortress this passageway will already be blocked off. Unfortunately, you could always already get here through this star door. But this is part of the upper passageway, so I'll get into that a little bit later. But yeah, this is all connected. And uh, one thing that's also blocked off in this, uh, until you beat Bowser the first time, is this. Because it drops you down into the basement. Or so it seems. Uh, this is actually a hidden bit of room uh, that you can get to in through the second room. All you have to do is turn on the flood switch. Oh no, you're going to die! And um, come on. And then hovering up through this passageway, or there's another one over to the left. Uh, but this has a metal star for whatever reason. And there's also a warp pipe there that I will get to. Okay. Uh, that leads you to the Womp's Castle. And heh, <laughs> he died. <laughs> they all died. Okay. So you can actually uh, use these swamps, swamps coming back up to do a shortcut. The only problem is there's a hover flood here. So you have to get that first and then go over backtrack and get there which really isn't all that much worth it since it's only a little bit. that was interesting don't die you killed me 
I hate you. Okay, so I'll just show off this shortcut like so. Basically, all you have to do is get on top of these, and then triple jump, and use your hover blood. Very useful. Ha! Can't touch me now. Huh? Huh? Okay. So this one is, uh, the star coin that doesn't have the shine sprite. The, no way. The shine sprite that doesn't have the star coin. You know what I mean. And one interesting thing about this is if you're in Flash Player and uh, you go to 100% and show all and you have it enlarged, there's actually extra blocks rendered. There's and then there's more blocks over there, which is weird. Let's see if I zoom out. Can I show more? Whoops. Yeah, I can. As you can see, I think that was like trashed ideas for level design, and they decided not to remove it because they might want it again. I don't know. But anyway, I need to zoom back in here. There we go. Why aren't you working? Okay, there we go. Uh, so the last little bit here isn't too hard. You can even stand on top of the flops. You can stand on top of the flops here. It's not really hard. Um, go back up. And shines bright. Okay, so for our next adventure type thing, we have the upper hallway um, secret area with a. 8-bit Mario gla standard glass picture there, which is kind of cool. And you've also got your other two floods. And you got a door here that goes to this passageway, which is kind of pointless because there's also another passageway right here that goes up for whatever reason they decided to put a door there. And then this actually takes you out to the backyard on top of the yeah. castle for whatever reason. You can actually keep yeah. your floods here. And you can land on top of the roof of the castle, right? Right? No, no, no. It doesn't work. Okay, now we're back. This actually drops you down right in here. And I think this toad says, the name's Born, James Bond. I am a toad. Okay. I'm investigating this area for a secret passageway. Where is that the entrance is above a staircase of some kind? It drops off here. However, since I have a really, really short memory span, I keep forgetting where the secret passage is when I find it. Huh? Who are you? <laughs> and there's uh, another toad over here that's snancing. That toad over there thinks he's James Bond. He's so stupid. There's no secret passageways in Princess Peach's castle, which is obviously wrong. But anyway. Um, you go around the slingshots here, there's an invincibility star for whatever reason. And, uh, there's also a hidden level. Okay, so, hidden level. Yay, this is called Magma Maze, even though it's not titled in the title that pops up. Uh, okay, there's lava, water, everything. All components, one level. And you are going to die! Okay. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Um, let's see. Over here you have your rock flood. There is a star coin in this level. Um, this is the one that has the star coin for the upper passageway. This will be our fifth and final uh, coin. If you fall down here... No, I didn't actually want to fall down. There's actually um, a pit of lava which will try to kill you if you fall down. Um, so the star coin is actually up here. And so this can be a very irritating section if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you. Come on, come on, come on, get the star coin, yes! Jeez. Okay, so that's our 60th star coin. So there's technically only four more left. Die, don't die! Yes, I didn't die. Okay, we're still alive. No! Mamma mia.
Hate you, kid. Anyway, basically, this level, uh, the shine is blocked yeah. off by a really rushing waters. Yeah. There's a really yeah. rough current, and you can't get to the shine because of this current. Yeah. So you're gonna need a turbo yeah. flood, but you can't get the turbo yeah. to the turbo flood that's up here until yeah. you have your rocket flood. So basically, you need uh, both yeah. rocket flood and turbo flood to beat this level, which is kind of a cool concept. And then, I swear I landed on that shell. And then you have this lava pit thing here that can kill you, but you get your turbo flood, and so you can just go nuts. Okay, so up, over, up and over, oh wait, this is the dead end, there's a dead end here, which has coins, which I guess is a good thing because it's so neat to you. Um, over here is actually where I wanted to go. Um, there's actually a rocket flood. This will take you back down to where you started. Um, there's a hover flood, which isn't necessary. This, bleh, which isn't necessary to beat the level. Jeez, I can talk. And then there's a ton of Koopas. Heh. <laughs> Okay, so this is the current I was talking about. If you don't have your turbo flow, it'll blast you out over here. There's actually a Yeah. Okay, good enough. Come on. So you just gotta use your turbo flood and you're slowly, slowly going to go over here. And then here's your shine sprite that I was mentioning earlier. Okay, let's grab it. Okay, so I found a funny toad right here that I never knew existed that says, I've been waiting here for about 12 hours, but this room is apparently always nighttime. Yeah, yep, yep, you're right. And I think this toad... Oh. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but if, if you find the right toad, oh, this is. I heard that there is a that underneath the painting of clouds is a secret. If you stop, it'll re reveal a secret passageway to a secret course. But there are several different cloud paintings. Which one is it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he's not talking about uh, yeah. the Rainbow Ride painting. Yeah. That's it's yeah. extremely hard to jump in. Anyway, so yeah. Yeah. um, actually, what he's talking about is this cloud painting right here, where this toad is standing. Yeah. Yeah. So, cave of impuzzlement. No star coin, but sort of an irritating puzzle level. Involves water up and water down physics. You know what I mean? Like wet dry world and such. Except it's a lot more puzzle based than my dry world. Uh, yeah, right. Whatever you say. So, the first switch you see is gonna be right here, and it's already activated. As you can tell. So, what you're gonna have to do is activate this one. Um. And then you're gonna have to go all the way over here and rock it. Whoa! Whoa! What the heck? Did you see that? There's a random log. For no reason. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. press that switch next. Then you yeah. move over here and grab the invisibility star that's in this. Don't press that switch. You don't actually need it. Your goal is to get the metal star that's over there. You hurry up. Uh, but you can't ground pound on that unless you have a metal star or there's no water there. So you gotta lower the water. Then rock it up here and go back through here while it's low. Do not press that switch or you'll have to do this again. And yes, I don't care what that sign says. Okay, so now, now I'm metal and invisible somehow. So you're gonna have to walk all the way over here, ground pound here. There's no way to lower the water level any further than this. 
don't know why I need one of the triple flip. It's not like he ran out of water. And that will unlock the cannon, which you can use to get up high enough to get the Sharon Sprite. We Okay, so now. Now you have to basically go through some of the same sort of stuff that you did at the first bar. You gotta put this here and um, rock it and rock it again. You can see the wood plank that's up there for no reason. It's this switch and then jump into the cannon. Wait for it to go all the way up. You can see the shine spread over there. It's actually now behind the water meter. Press up for awesomeness while you're in the cannon. And, 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 don't do that. Don't do. That was actually really cool, but I missed, so. Darn it! Darn it! Ah! Just go up toward the shine sprite. Jeez Luigi. Okay, now that we're done with that, I'm just gonna die again. You can actually uh, press up like crazy and grab all of these coins and. Really? Really? I bet I can't even get back up. Oh, coins! Yes! 100 coins, there we go. Okay, so the next level that we're going to be taking on, uh, Secret Course, the last Secret Course, um, in this video, is actually just like Tropical Isles, it's not very well hidden. So, Galaxy of Stars, one of my favorite levels. There are, uh, I think at least, there's a little bit of floaty physics. Luigi doesn't fall down very fast, which is kinda cool. Uh, so this is just a five silver star mission. Not the, the first one is sort of hard to get because it's across a death pit, and you've got annoying platforms. And 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 see, I told you. Fortunately, though, you keep your silver stars, so you don't have to worry about it. And you go over here, and there's a ton of coins here. There is a ton of coins in this level. You want to go through and one-up farm. Although I really would advise uh, to go to the mushroom if you want to do that. This does change it up a bit. Okay, so this one has some really cool galaxy-esque uh, level design. You got sideways water and and. Down here, you have your third. Uh, let's see, let's see. Kill that guy. Okay, you gotta be really careful there. And really careful here as well. The, um, not falling down so fast can really help you, especially when you're spinning. So now what you can do is jump. Nope. Can I jump? I know you can triple jump from here. Oh, Luigi can just triple jump normally. Whatever. So the last two are going to be over here. The first one, as you can see, is at 12 o'clock. Um, the next one is glowing right there. Um, 3 o'clock. And this sort of last legacy. Probably this is where he got the idea. He said, hey, why don't we do that? I don't know. He said, hey, why don't we do that same thing we did for, uh, Oh jeez! For Galaxy of Stars, we had a giant circular planet. Yeah, let's do it with gravity too! But anyway, um, that's just my guess. Anyway, shine sprite, grab. No, I said grab, grab the, grab the, grab the shine, grab the shine, jeez, grab the shine, jeez! It took too long. Alright, so before we end up this video, I'm actually going to show off a couple Bowser related secret passageways. One of which is actually right here. I'm pretty sure I showed this off in the first episode. Uh, yeah, I did. Um, you actually get to see both of the Star Coin prizes, but you can't get to them. 
too bad, too bad. Yeah. There's not that you can. Yeah. Maybe you can ground pound. Yeah, maybe you can yeah. ground pound right here. Nope. Didn't think so. But then yeah. this will take you to Bowser's um, yeah. Yeah. hidden passageway. Yeah. First trap. Okay, so for our last Bowser related activity, we have the staircase. Which is basically a 2D clone of the empty staircase from 64. And, uh, fortunately, we can't even do anything about this. Which is very sad. Uh, only Mario can go up here and break the spell. As long as he has, uh, 32 strand sprites, of course. Before that, it's just endless, just like this. But, uh, you think that with Luigi you can't go to the final battle, right? Wrong. You have your rocket flood. There is a way to get there. Okay, so all you have to do to perform this little trick is have your rocket flood in the main room, just center Luigi in the middle of it, and rocket straight up. And look where you are, the staircase. And that is Bowser's Castle. Uh, this slid star will take you there. And if you use this shortcut with your floods, uh, you actually end up um, going into Bowser's Castle already with your floods. Which is very useful. And that's why it's worthwhile to actually do this with Mario too. Otherwise it wouldn't be worth it to do it with Mario. So, um, in the next episode, we're going to be taking on Bowser, his own castle.